Okay, so it's 9.30 in the morning, May 22nd, 2011, some 48 hours after I first filmed the initial sequence for my little end of the world video that was so nice and so incredibly filmed that I decided to use it twice, or rather I used it again for a second video, and here we are, we're still here, if anyone was wondering what I was doing throughout the day because I would said that I doc would document the day's events, my day, not anybody else's. If you really want somebody else's day, you know, you go to their day. But for the most part, it's pretty much uh, the business as usual. Woke up around nine, had my usual coffee and bagel around that time. Same thing. I don't think well, that's sort of what I do every day. I have coffee in the morning, so I don't think it was worth refilming that for that the uh, other video that I posted up. But in any case, uh, had my usual coffee and bagel before. Took a shower around ten ish. Cooked up a pizza for lunch with folks with about 12-ish. Um, and in between that, I did the uh, Randy Savage uh, tribute uh, video thing. You know, which, you know, turned out all right, I guess, for the most part. Uh, so I had lunch, went shopping for a gift for a family member for a couple hours. Went out, so got, got some air, came home, had dinner, you know, chicken and Chinese rice. You know, for, a la for a last meal, it was pretty light. And then later had a coffee around 6 o'clock, where there was no rapture, no earthquake, none, none of that stuff that was supposed to happen around that time, even. And I went to my computer, posted the little bulletin that you see there, you know, on the screen. Put together the follow-up video to the, uh, the, the whole rapture thing, and while I was waiting for that to upload on the suddenly sluggish internet connection that ended up being the only thing raptured as mentioned... <laughs> I did editing on a couple videos. I played a couple games on the classic Mortal Kombat on the good old PC. And decided to re-upload the video, which managed to upload rather nicely. Went up a little late, but still. Like I said, I wish I would have uploaded earlier, but the only thing that got raptured apparently was the internet connection. Fortunately, went back to normal around 9, 10-ish. And I had my some tea, and then I went to bed. So that was my day, more or less. There was no earthquakes involved. There was no raptured. Nobody was raptured or anything. No apocalypse came about. And a lot of people who were ignorant enough and stupid enough to put their faith and their money on a man who had predicted the supposed coming of the rapture with supposed pinpoint accuracy, despite the man having quote-unquote miscalculated, shall we say, the coming of the rapture 15 years ago, and now a lot of people who have heavily invested in this malarkey and this horseshit are all the more poor for it because they put their faith in a steak oil salesman who posed as a man of God and who used people's fears, their ignorance, and their utter stupidity to offer them salvation for a fee. And this man's not the only one. There have no doubt a dozen nutballs out there doing the same thing, and no doubt they managed to sucker a whole bunch of people in, convincing people that it would be on this day, May 21st, 2011 at precisely 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because apparently God operates on time zones, apparently. Despite being all-knowing and all omnipresent and all that. You know, even but the people were convinced that it was me on this time that the world would come to an end. Earthquakes. Five months of hell before the world eventually exploded in October. Well, obviously, as you could tell, the world's still standing. No one has gone missing, despite the few pictures on the internet telling you otherwise. <laughs> I swear, this thing was mocked endlessly all over. You go on Twitter, and you, you, go, and you have these pictures of loose clothing on the floor, and, and, and the description would say that this, this person's been raptured. <laughs> actually, one good example, you go, to, you go to Samoa Joe's Twitter. He's actually, you know, nothing. You know, he mentions something about... Twitter and then about the uh, you know well nothing happened there was no raptors hey where did AJ go and you and you go click on the picture you know his clothes are <laughs> laid out on the floor it just got it just became such a huge joke to the point where a couple friends of mine were just asking as the as the day passed we're just wondering if Australia was still around and last I checked it was still standing <laughs> so while this whole apocalyptic blank state has been a complete and utter waste of time. <laughs> It does provide you a good example of what we might expect when 2012 rolls around and the, st and the fires start burning for that particular outlook, because it was predicted by the Mayans. But the difference between yesterday and the 2012 prediction is that the Mayans aren't asking for your money and they're not asking to 
for donations so that they can save you. They pretty much don't care at that point, all things considered. But no, the truth is that nobody knows when the world is going to end except God himself. You know, it's specified in the Bible, the book that people tend to claim the answer is in there. And the answer is indeed in there, just not the one they're looking for. The, the, the answer they're probably looking for is a specific time and date. It's not in there. There is no specific time and date. Nobody knows except for the man upstairs. So rather than worry about the end of the world, which could come at any moment, could very well come the instant I put up this video, actually. You know, no matter, rather than worry about the end of the world, just live life. Do what you usually do. Don't fall, for, don't fall for these leeches who prey on your faith to make a quick buck to line their own pockets. And, you know, like I said before, if should Mr. Harold Campy, the, the moron who instigated this prophecy in the first place, sh should he still be around in tw 2034, which is precisely 15 years later, you know, if we're going by the statute of limitation, there's a, the apocalyptic uh, prediction has a statute of limitation of 15 years. He last did, did this horse shit around 1994, or 2011. He might do it again in 2034, should he live. And if that happens, I look forward to his spinning of the apocalyptic wheel once more to fool more stupid people in. Because if, they hold a high, if these people hold the Bible in high regard, then they would know not to support false prophets, and a false prophet is exactly what this person happens to be. You know, I'm not knowledgeable of the Bible. I'll admit, I don't read it all that. But even I know that there's no answer. There's no answer to the precise time and day of when, you know, I'm sure there's clues hidden about here and there. But nobody really knows. Not to mention that thing was written well over two millennia ago. I'm sure God has a fickle mind. He might change his mind, you know, from time to time. I don't think there's any modern day uh, update to the <laughs> you know the Bible's the Bible's an old book folks it's it's not something that you could update with a firmware update or a patch you know so chances are God might have changed his mind over the uh, the ages but in any case let's not worry about the end of the world or anything like that let's just live life you know and, and with that we conclude this rather interesting tetralogy of May 21st, 2011 related videos on this YouTube channel. So now let's get back to reality and let's get back to our usual business because I'm sure, you know, we're, that that's a whole lot better than worrying about some idiot's proclamation that the world's going to... It's just so stupid. Okay, look, folks, uh, as soon as this thing is finished uploading, I will post another game review in a short bit. And also, i got some other related stuff in the works. There's that, you know, business as usual. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that fairy tale that's called uh, December 21st, 2012. So until next time, folks, take care, stop worrying, and just live life. And that's all I got. All right, so uh, thanks, and uh, have a good day.